All right, students, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do rates of change here in this lesson. And um, now a lot of students think rate of change is difficult, part of differentiation, right? And they find it confusing. So um, I'm going to teach you the technique to answer questions related to rates of change. So um, it's not going to be difficult. It's, it's pretty easy. Yeah? So let us use question number 58 from your worksheet as an example. Um, and uh, just try to follow. Uh, if you can understand this technique, you can use this technique for all the questions on rates of change. Right. So the question says the variables x and y are related by the equation, this equation. OK, so basically you have an equation and it says find the rate of change in the value of y. So now from the question, right, you can tell this find the rate of change means what is the change in y per second? That's what the rates mean. Yeah. So I'm going to write it here. The word rate, um, it's a bit like physics. If you do physics, the word rate means change per second okay per unit time uh, and in this case time is measured in second uh, it's like physics yeah the SI unit is in second so the, the when when they say uh, the value of find the rate of change in the value of y basically they are asking for this what is the change in y which we call dy over dt what is the difference in y per unit time that is dy dt okay so I, I you need to be able to tell what it means yeah the rate of change of y is represented as dy dt okay the change of y per time uh, t stands for time okay so you're looking for dy dt yeah so that's what the question says um, in rates of change, you need to be able to extract this information from the question. You need to extract three of this. Okay, listen, uh, you need to extract three things. DY something, D something, D something, and you have to extract another one. D something, D something, and D something, D something. Three of them. Okay, and you'll see a reason after this. So this is the first one from the question. Find the rate of change in the value of Y, which means find DY, DT. If the value of X... Okay, increases at the rate of 2 units per second. So that means dx dt is three, uh, sorry, 2 units per second. Okay, so you may write it around 2 units per second. So that means x changes at 2 units every second. And this is increased because it's positive. Yeah, so it means that when x increases at 2 units every second, y also will change, right? What will be the change of y per second? Can you understand what it means, rates of change? So basically, they are saying that y is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 3. That means y depends on the value of x. So if the value of x increases at 2 units per second, then the value of y will also increase at what rate? That's what they're asking. Okay, so now remember I said you need to find three of these, right? So you have dy dt, you have dx dt. So you need to find one more in order for you to solve the question. So one more comes from where? Eh? The other information will always come from the formula. And in this case, it's given this is the formula or the equation. Y is x squared minus plus 2x minus 3. So you get your dy dx here because that's what you're looking for. One. dx dt dy, right? So dy dx equals to just differentiate as usual 2x plus 2 so now there you have it you have the one one of them dy dx the second one d, dy dt and the third one dx dt so the first thing you do when you look at rates of change of question is look at a question extract this three information out it doesn't matter that one of them is the unknown. You are supposed to have one of the one of them as the unknown, whatever they're looking for. And you will have one that is given from the question, and you will have another one that you derive or you uh, differentiate from the formula. So you have three of them. Now, the second thing to do after you have gotten this three thing is to find a relationship between these three by forming the chain rule. Okay. The chain rule is very easy to form. The basic method is this. Find from these three things, yeah. Find one variable that is the same on top with another one at the bottom. And can you see this? Dx is on top here. Can you see the dx at the bottom? It means that this times this will equal to this. It's generally like this. 
okay one on top and the same as the one as the other one at the, at the bottom it doesn't matter what doesn't matter okay you can you see this dx and this dx so that means i can form a chain rule like this dy dx times this one dx dt now look ah uh, if you were to cut this off see this if you were to cut this off what do you get you get dy dt right which is this okay so now but we're not cutting it we're forming the chain rule and that's what the chain rule means this times this is chain over to this it's continued over to dx dt and that would give you dy dt so can you see that you have formed an equation or a relationship between this and this and this so now you can substitute the information in you're looking for dy dt right so don't worry, just put everything in. That's 2x plus 2. So dy dx is 2x plus 2. So let's put it in. Uh, that's 2x plus 2. Multiply with dx dt is 2. So that's just 2. Equals to dy dt. So now you can solve this and you will get dy dt. But there appears to be a problem. There's an unknown x there. What are you going to do with the x? The x is always given in the exam, in the question. If you read the question again, uh, question 58, you can see that find the rate of change in the value of y if the value of y if the value of x increases at a rate of 2 units per second when x is equals to 3. So there's one more bit of information that says uh, x is equals to 3, right? So that is what you are supposed to substitute in here after you have formed your chain rule okay or after you have differentiated you put the x inside okay so that's 2 times 3 plus 2 and the whole thing times 2 will equal to dy dt okay so the final answer is this i'm going to write it here dy dt is equals to that is 6 plus 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 so 16 units per second please do write the answer as units per second uh, this is a little bit like physics yeah in fact this is part of physics actually um, and uh, you're supposed to write the units remember in physics your answer must always have units okay so please write this yeah now what does it mean when you do rates of change it is very important that you understand the context of what you're doing yeah because rates of change questions always comes in terms of problem solving problem solving means they give you a cube or a, or, or a cylinder or a cone and ask you to you know find some change in volume and change in area and all that so the meaning is this y is equals to x squared plus 2x minus 3 if x is a certain value and the value increases at 2 units per second the change of y is that y will also increase 16 units per second so if x increases 3 units per second then y will increase in a different number can you understand or if x decreases in 2 units per second then y will decrease in another number another units per second Okay, basically that's what the meaning of rates of change is. Lah. When something changes, what, how will it affect the other one? The other will also change at a certain rate. That's what you're looking for. Always, it's always like this. Okay, and the technique is always this. Yeah, I hope you go through this video again. If this is the first time you're doing rates of change or if you're not sure of rates of change, remember what I say. The technique applies to all the question. Extract three of these from the question. Form your chain rule substitute whatever relevant inside and you will get your answer confirm it will work okay now let's use the same technique and we will do the rest of the question in rates of change in the uh, following videos i'll see you around